Foundation Cornerstone, Chapter 2, God, Manifest in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. It is our Comforter, Teacher, and Guide. The evidence of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in a Christian's life is a testimony from God. Their very testimony is proof that the Holy Ghost is alive in their life. Let's turn to the Gospel of John, chapter 14. John, chapter 14, verses 16 through 18. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth Him not. Neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him, for He dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Let's look down now into verse 26 through 27. John 14, 26 through 27. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 1 and verse number 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the earth. Turn in Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verses 38 through 39. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The promise of the Holy Ghost is given to all that have their sins remitted in baptism. God's Spirit living within His people is manifesting itself in the evidence of their testimony, or in biblical words, the fruit of the Spirit. Let's turn to Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. They that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. We live in the Spirit. Let us also walk in that Spirit. And that would be God manifest in the Holy Ghost, that Holy Spirit, is our comforter, our teacher, our guide, our indwelling Holy Ghost.